एवरीवन आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर उर्मी शाह फ्रॉम आईटीआईसीटी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एलजी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो टुडे वी विल बी मूविंग अहेड विद द फर्दर सेशंस ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर 6 सिग्नलिंग ऑफ टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट सो इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स दैट इज सिग्नलिंग टेक्निक्स line signaling common signaling and further we will be discussing about the different classes of signaling techniques that is in channel and common channel signaling and its various bifurcations so let's start with the signaling techniques so the first topic over here says that there are three different forms of signaling which are involved in telecommunication network so this we have already discussed in the previous session that there are three different types of signaling techniques subscriber lobe signaling intra exchange or register signaling inter exchange or inter register signaling so these are the three different types of signaling techniques which are widely used or which are widely applicable in telecommunication engineering subject moving ahead let's see what are the signaling techniques so there are three forms of signaling involved in telecommunication network that is subscriber loop signaling intra exchange or register signaling and inter exchange or inter register signaling now these signaling techniques are applicable to certain classes of signaling so in the previous session we had done the classification of signaling techniques that is there are major two types in line signaling and common channel signaling so first let's see what is line signaling the network wide signaling that involves end to end signaling between the originating exchange and the terminating exchange so in short the signaling scheme where you have a transmission of signal from end to end from source to destination that is called line signaling and the very basic concept or the very basic usage is done for line signaling in telecommunication network further the classification we can see over here is the classes of signaling techniques where we have the two major types that is in channel and out channel in in channel the classification is having dc low frequency voice frequency and pcm signaling type and further the voice frequency is again divided into category that is in band and out band signal the further the left hand side you can see over here is the out channel signaling scheme where we have associated and non associated signaling scheme so the two main types of signaling techniques over here are in channel signaling and common channel signaling these are the major two types of signaling techniques which are used in telecommunication engineering further in channel signaling is also known as per trunk signaling it is also known as per trunk signaling this uses the same channel which carries user voice or data to pass control signals related to the call or connection no additional transmission facilities are needed for in channel signaling so this is a very basic or we can say a trunk signaling technique it is widely used in telecommunication network now the next different type of signaling technique is common channel signaling it is also known as per trunk signaling these uses the same channel which carries user voice or data to pass control signals related to that call or connection 
no additional transmission facilities are needed for in channel signaling common channel signaling is implemented in two modes that is channel associated mode and channel non associated mode so these are the two different types of common channel signaling and it is widely used further we can have the analysis of common channel signaling and we can have its further classification also as you can see over here this is the diagram of common channel signaling technique the diagram over here conveys that there are three or four stations that is a b c d and if i want to have the transfer of signal for all this trunk group how we are going to do it so the signaling path for the speech path a b a c b and b d are a b a c b and b d respectively the advantages of these signaling are that the implementation is economic assignment of trunk group is simple and it is a widely used signaling scheme so that's why this is the most widely preferred common channel signaling scheme the further is the channel non associated mode the signaling path for the speech path ab and bc are acdb and bdc respectively the network topologies are different for signaling and speech network that is the difference in channel non associated mode and common channel signaling technique further we have channel associated mode also where we can have the exact difference between the non associated and associated mode the comparison table for in channel versus common channel signaling technique says that in in channel signaling the trunks are held up during signaling while in common channel signaling the trunks are not required for signaling the table says that signaling repertoire is limited while there is an extensive signal repertoire possible in common channel signaling for the interference between voice and control signals may occur in in channel signaling while there is no interference as the two channels are physically separate in common channel signaling separate signaling equipment is required for each trunk and hence is expensive in in channel signaling while the opposite in common channel signaling only one set of signaling equipments is required for a whole group of trunk circuit and therefore ccs is an economical signaling technique the voice channel being the control channel there is a possibility of signal misuse by customer in in channel signaling while control channel is in general inaccessible to user in common channel signaling technique signaling is relatively slow if we are using in channel signaling and signaling is significantly fast if we are using common channel signaling technique speed circuit is reliable or its reliability is assured in in channel signaling while there is an no automatic test equipment or there is no automatic test of the speed circuit in common signaling so these are the very basic difference between in channel and common channel signaling in in channel signaling it is difficult to handle signaling during the speech period while there is a freedom to handle the signal during speech in common channel signaling it is difficult 
to change or add signals in in channel signaling as it is an outgoing continuous process while there is a flexibility to change or add signals in common channel signaling reliability of the signaling path is not critical in in channel signaling while reliability of the signaling path is critical for common channel signaling so these are the very basic differences and we can have the bifurcation of in channel signaling techniques and common channel signaling techniques now coming to the channel non associated mode here the signal path for the speech path ab and bc are acdp and vdc respectively and the network topologies are different for signaling and speech network that is the difference over here in terms of channel non associated mode so here we can see ab and bc are having acdb and vdc respectively path for channel non associated mode so channel associated channel non associated what are the basic differences between in channel and common channel signaling that we have seen in this section further following are the reference books for the topics that we have covered today you can refer any of these books for the topics which we have studied it today in the next session i will be continuing with the applications or the usages of the signaling techniques in industry or in market of telecommunication system and we will be seeing the various protocols or the signaling types in depth which are widely used currently in practice thank you very much for watching this session we will be continuing with the next session and the different applications of these signaling technique thank you for watching this session thank you